Hello, I'm Reagan Billings, health and performance coach at Tiger Medical Institute, and today we are going to be discussing the topic, can Alzheimer's be cured? Now, when I think about this question, something that immediately pops into mind is Disney's uh, beloved character, Dory, and who even got her own feature film, Finding Dory, and in that she says, I suffer from short-term memory loss. It runs in my family. At least I think it does. Where are they? Paints a nice light picture of short-term memory loss, but when we get into the conversation of Alzheimer's, it's something that impacts many and is a very serious situation. The question posed of can Alzheimer's be cured is an important one because there is an estimated 6.5 million Americans aged 65 and older who are living with Alzheimer's is in 2022, and that's from alzheimers.org. So can it be cured? As of now, if you are diagnosed with full-blown uh, Alzheimer's disease, the chances of it being cured are low, but there are a lot of hopeful different things that we can do to help prevent and maintain our brain health and prevent long-term cognitive decline. So for the remainder of this video, we're just going to highlight a few things that you can do and look into to begin your journey of discovery in finding answers to, uh, do I have Alzheimer's? Where can I get this checked out? Uh, what are some things I can do lifestyle-wise to help brain health? There's a lot of different competing information um, out in the world and the World Wide Web. Uh, so I just want to provide some clear, simple things to direct you and get you started on this journey. So today we're going to focus on three big things. The big basics is what I'm calling them. Uh, the first is daily movement. So movement stimulates the brain and as we all know is very good for us. Uh, it's vital to our quality of life, our stress management, our sleep, so many different things. Uh, daily movement is the kindling to start the fire in uh, preventing cognitive decline. So we want to have a consistent daily movement routine, whether that's walking, biking, all these different things, uh, helping getting our body active can actually help uh, increase the volume of our hippocampus, which is involved with memory specifically. And so in the article, there's some research listed out um, that's very compelling, very interesting to look into a little bit more. But overall, the understanding is that exercise, good. Sedentary lifestyle, bad. The next big bakes of the item that we are going to talk about is intelligent nutrition. So we all know that you are what you eat, all that good stuff. Insert any cliche you want to about nutrition. Uh, nutrition and how we fuel ourselves is vital and important as well. But I'm going to outsource this next section a little bit in terms of when it comes to how you want to eat for better brain health and long-term uh, trying to prevent cognitive decline, you want to get connected with a functional medicine practitioner as well as someone who is certified in Dr. Dale Bredesen's Apollo Health uh, protocols. It's a very unique set of uh, protocols to help prevent cognitive decline and they have a very large emphasis on the nutritional piece of that. Fun fact, Tiger Medical has both of those. Moving on to our third big basic and final item that's important for lifestyle factors to help prevent cognitive decline is quality sleep. Uh, there are several sleep studies that show that uh, fatigue related impairment or poor sleep uh, impacts cognitive functioning and puts you on the same plane as being hungover or impaired with alcohol. So, of course, we know, we value sleep. Everybody understands the idea of a good night's rest versus a poor night's rest and how we function. Um, but there is a lot of sleep and memory specific information out there that is interesting to look into. I'm just going to quote here from med.upen as uh, they have some interesting information regarding this aspect. Uh, they say, scientists hypothesize that sleep also plays a major role in forming long-term memories. According to Matthew Walker, professor of neuroscience and psychology at UC Berkeley, MRI scans indicate that slow brain waves of stage sleep three, which is deep non-REM sleep, 
serve as a courier service transporting memories from the hippocampus to other permanent storage sites. All that to say is sleep is important for our short-term and our long-term memory uh, restoration and consolidation so that if we're learning new things, it is built up and stored within our sleep. If we're wanting to retain information or memories, it has a lot to do with our sleep. So having quality sleep is why we finish and wrap up of our big basics to help prevent cognitive decline. So for our Tiger takeaways today, if you're here reading this article or watching this video, you are curious, you're interested in this conversation of maybe where can I get tested? How do I know if I have Alzheimer's or some cognitive decline issues? There are some links in the bottom of this article that you can check out to get further resources on that, as well as some other resources of how can I improve my memory and remember. So this video, this article specifically, is just the start into checking out some other different things to help you along with your journey. But also, if you incorporate daily movements, intelligent nutrition, and quality sleep, those are three things that you can do to help move the needle in terms of your brain health and quality of life. Thank you for listening and watching today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at Tiger Medical at any time. Have a great one.